Hey everyone, this is Natasha from Makeup and SFC. Welcome back to my channel. So I have a very special surprise for you because I'm here at the Pinky Rose store in Elk Grove, California. I get a little behind the scenes action. We are here because everybody is getting ready for the launch of the beautiful new store. Everything is stocked. We have tons of people waiting for exclusive products from all the different brands. We also have all the products that are newly launched like the Sunflower Palette, the Plums Palette, and for all the guests who are waiting outside, they are waiting for a very nice gift bag filled with almost $100 worth of stuff. So it's a very exciting day. I'm so happy to be a part of it. Thank you to Pinky Rose Cosmetics, the sisters for inviting me here. So I just wanted to show you a little bit of the store and then I'm going to follow up with a tutorial using some crown brushes. So if you're interested in this video, don't forget to like and subscribe down below and I'll see you in my next one. Bye! So getting started with a quick tutorial, I thought I would recreate the look that I had at the Pinky Rose Grand Opening in Elk Grove. So I'm starting off with my base. Now you can do whatever you want. I decided to do a lighter base this time around, but when I went to the event I actually had a full coverage foundation routine. I'll link both videos in the description box down below. But here I'm just using concealer and powder, keeping it very easy. And I love this Wet n Wild concealer from the Photo Focus thing. I love every single product from this line. The primers, the powders, the foundations, this concealer. Most days I'll wear this by itself and just use a little bit of powder and I think the coverage is beautiful and really easy to blend. This one is more for highlighting. Now as you can see my forehead is really dark but it's really good at evening out my skin tone and brightening under the eyes. And then I'm using that with my Pinky Rose cosmetic sponge and I love this because it has a really flat pointed corner. Now, I'm not going to tell you to buy all these brushes, but I'm going to show you ones that I really enjoy. Now, this is a deluxe fan brush. I will list all of the links and the names of all the brushes I'm using today. Now, I've bought these brushes and I've gotten one set from Pinky Rose. So this isn't a sponsored video, but I love this fan brush for just dusting powder all over the face to set cream products. And it's actually very good for contouring. It's not your typical brush where it's very stiff. These bristles are very flexible and fluffy and it's good for a natural contour. And as you can see, I was able to use it for both setting my makeup and for really contouring and creating dimension on my face. 
This is a limited edition highlighter from Wet n Wild and I'm using the Crown SS017. This is such a thin fan brush. Now, if you've used a fan brush before, then you're used to more dense bristles. This one is more lightweight. It really just fluffs products onto the skin for a more natural finish. And I really like it when I'm trying to do a natural look for work days or maybe an event where you need to be more reserved with your makeup. It's just a nice solid brush. Now this Crown C543 I've had for a long time. It's a more dense angled fluff brush and I like to use that for contouring or in this case for blush. It really deposits a good amount of product on it and it is a good quality brush. Now I'm just going to fiddle with my brows. Now this you don't have to do this but I'm taking this angled brush and I'm filling in all the sparse areas. I have really fluffy brows right now and so it's kind of hard to manage where to go but you get the idea. Fill in the brows as you normally would and then we will move on. It's a pretty standard brush. I like how thin it is so I can get hair like strokes in my brows and then I will just go in with a spoolie to blend it all out. Taking my Time Bomb Concealer from The Balm, I'm taking this Crown Rose Gold brush. It's one of the smaller oval brushes in the set and I'm just using that to set a base for my eyeshadow and then I'm going to set it with some powder. Now we're going to get started on the eyes and I'm using my Earth Hue palette from Pinky Rose Cosmetics. And if you've seen any of my videos, especially for eye looks, I really like and have used these crown brushes on my eyes many times. And so I'm taking this blending fluff brush to set my eyeshadow base with a cream colored shade. It's one of the matte shades in the palette. And then I'm going to start blending into the crease. So first I take that tan shade that you saw in the clip and I'm starting to blend that above the crease. Now the beauty about this 441 is that it has pointed edge on the bristles that you can get deep into that little socket line that you see in my eye. So if you're someone who's trying to just use one brush, this is the one for you because it blends because it's fluffy, but then it gets right in the outer corner when you need to concentrate the color. And here I'm using that dark moss green for the outer corner. And it's just an all around good brush if you just wanna make it easy for you, you know? So there's no rhyme or reason. I'm kind of fluffing the color back and forth and just using circular motions. As you can see, there's a gradient look. So it's got that light tan shade, then the puke green color, and then the dark green shade. I'm going to wet in the brush. I'm using my facial spray from Mario Badescu in this beautiful gold shade. It is my favorite shade in the entire palette and I'm using that all over the lid right up until the outer corner and I'm just blending that in. So the trick is first you get it on wet and then you put it on dry so that it really packs on the color on the lid and it lasts, doesn't crease, it's a beautiful color. Now this is optional but I kind of wanted to make the look sultry so I took the black shade on this fluff brush and I am concentrating that on the outer corner sort of blending the green and the gold in between and so I'm just patting that on because it's not a super black color it's more of a grayish black but I just think it works really well to define the outer corner and then I'm using all the colors on my lower lash line to balance it out because if you only have eyeshadow on the top it doesn't really make sense. Then I didn't have an inner corner brush, so I'm just taking my highlighting brush and taking a light shimmery shade in the inner corner. Now we're going to do some lashes, so you know the drill. I'm going to prep my lashes with some mascara. Then I'm using my London Lashes from Pinky Rose Cosmetics, and I'm just using some duo glue to put those on. And then I'm going to put some Dose of Colors. This is Cork. It's a nice neutral shade, and that is the finished look. I'm wearing pajamas, but I did look very cute, or at least I tried on the actual day. And that's the finished look. So thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in my next video. Bye. Oh, yeah, So I gotta keep it like it got me. Let me do a test shot and you'll see what the light's gonna look like.